Hi friends, I'm Walker and welcome back to All About Nails where we talk about vegan and cruelty for nail polish. Today I have what I wore in February. It was pretty like short polish month for me. I didn't wear that many polishes and I only wore two brands. I bet you can guess which two brands they were. I'll give you a second to think about it. I'm sure you got it right. Um, awesome. Let's dive in and I'll show you what I wore in February. Okay, so the first polish that I wore, I actually think you've seen in a couple videos. I'm pretty sure I wore it on one of my filming days. This is Petra. I adore this polish so much. It is such a good neutral. It was perfect for February. The beginning of February, it was like very snowy and gross here. And so I love this polish so much. I've worn it a lot since I first bought it. Um, it's a really good one. I don't think I've done a comparison of this one yet, but it's coming soon. Um, I've started filming it, but it's not up yet. Um, it will fit into my kind of like gray series that I started a million years ago, never finished, and I'm working on finishing. Um, but I love this one so much. It does have, um, kind of like a purple undertone and so it's a very cool toned neutral but it's it's just perfect I mean because it's not super cool toned it has a little bit of warmth to it so I adore Petra I wear it in two coats I think it's perfect okay and then I really wanted to try to wear some pinks and reds in February because I just don't gravitate towards those colors that much but I do own a lot of them and I often find that I'm surprised when I wear them I like them on me more than I thought I would I just don't gravitate towards them. So I tried to pull out some pinks and reds, um, and I think I did a pretty good job. The first one that I wore was Jody. This is a fairly recent uh, pink from Zoya, and it's very blue toned. I usually wear warmer toned pinks, at least that's what I've been gravitating towards recently. And so I wanted to try this one just to, just to test it out. Uh, but this one, I liked it on me. It felt very like clean and classic and, and very feminine. The nail polish that I wear doesn't often make me feel very feminine. I wear like lime green and blue, uh, but I did really enjoy this. It was fun. I think I wore it for several days because um, I was really feeling it. Okay, and then um, Constellation launched in February, the sixth shade in my winter collection. And so for about a week after that launch, I think I wore, um, Constellation over Virgo. I really like Constellation on its own. I also really like it as a topper. So I wore it over Virgo. Um, and I think I wore it for like a week because Constellation launched and I had a sale and I was packing a ton of orders. And so I wore it over Virgo, um, which, which I loved. This is probably my favorite combination of Constellation as a topper. And Virgo is just such a lovely blue cream. Um, so these ones are really fun to wear together. And I liked having a little bit of sparkle. Everything else I wore this month was a cream. So it was fun to have sparkle for like a week in February. All right, back on my pink and red train, I wore Gia from Zoya. This one was a recommendation, I think, from Janine, Schmalish Polish on Instagram. And it's a really good red. Um, I really enjoyed it. I'm pretty sure she recommended it. If she did, good job, Janine, it's really good. Um, if not, it's still really good. Uh, this one is a very kind of mid-toned red. It has a little bit of orange in it. I would say it's a little bit more orange than it is blue toned, um, but it's not super strong. It was just a kind of classic, like almost perfect for Valentine's Day, I would say, because it was just that like very true red. So I loved wearing Gia. Um, I've worn a couple reds recently, like in the last couple months, and I just... <laughs> I don't love them on my skin tone. They're fun to wear. They make me feel kind of fierce. Um, you know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah, they make me feel a little fierce, but I just don't think that I love them on my skin tone. Something about the way they work with my skin, it just, I don't love them as much as I love my blues and my greens, but they are fun to wear every once in a while because they really do make me feel pretty fun. Okay, and then Zoya came out with their spring collection um, in February, and so I was very fortunate to get to swatch that collection, and so I wore two from that collection. The first one that I wore, I know, it was a shocker, was Joyce, which is the very pretty kind of juicy berry pink in this collection. It's like watermelon or strawberries. It's like super, super vibrant, very rich, very juicy. And I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's not a kind of spring pink that I would have expected from Zoya, but it was really nice. Um, and I think that's why I liked it so much because it had so much warmth to it, so much juiciness. It was almost like a coral, right? When I did my comparisons, I compared it to like LC and Sonja, which are both a little bit more, um, you know, corally, reddy pinks. They're not true reds or too, true pinks. So I really enjoyed wearing Joyce. It was just, it was so fun. It was really fun. 
Okay, and then I wore the polish that I was most excited for from the promo pictures from that collection. This is Ella. This is the kind of salmon-y coral polish from that collection. And this one, when I saw the promo pictures, I was just so excited for it because I really love coral polishes, especially in the spring. They're just so vibrant and bright and fresh. They're so good. Um, and this one has an excellent, excellent formula. I was a little worried um, because Zoya does have some formulas that are a little bit more on the jelly side, which if you like them, cool, cool, cool. Um, but I like them a little bit creamier and this one is perfect it's the right formula for me it's a beautiful beautiful color I feel like it'll look better on me when I've gotten a little bit more sun um, but it was it was really fun as is and this is the last polish that I wore in February it was a short month <laughs> it was a very short month all right, so those are the seven polishes that I wore in February. Uh, let me know if we had similar color palettes. Do you also try to get on your reds and your pinks in February or do you wear reds and pinks all year? Maybe you don't really need to try. Uh, let me know what you wore in February. I love hearing from you, especially if we have any crossover, if we wear the same thing, we'd love to hear from you. And as always, I can't wait to see you in next week's video.